Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Youngs. Today, I'll be showing you guys Caloric Dragon. This is a rocket launcher you can purchase from the Vanguard Quartermaster. This will cost you 150 legendary marks, and you do have to be at least rank 3 in Vanguard. Anyway, I do have a different Caloric Dragon. So let's quickly go over what perks I have on this thing. So for the sites, I run Counter Mass. We have Battle Runner. Kills with this weapon grant a brief boost to sprints top speed. In the middle, we have Perfect Balance. Single Point Slings. Switch weapons faster, move quicker while aiming, and Will of Light. This weapon deals bonus damage against taken enemies, so I go with single point sling. Uh, no real need for perfect balance on a rocket launcher. And for the last perk, we have grenades and horseshoes. Rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets, so not bad perks on this rocket launcher. Now before we get into it, I do want to mention the blast radius on this thing is pretty high while the velocity is pretty damn low. Now let's take a look at the aesthetics. Alright. Let's just get right into the gameplay. So, Caloric Dragon versus the Ultra Knight for the DPS test. It took me four shots to put him down, having to reload once that reload clocking in at about three and a half seconds long, each rocket dealing a total of 9,088 damage, and it took me 6.6 .6 seconds to kill him. All right, we're moving right along into PvP, and I'm gonna go ahead and say this right off the bat. I have grenades and horseshoes on my rocket launcher, which makes my life a whole lot easier. While in the Crucible, this has to be the best possible PvP rocket launcher perk at least in my opinion so I automatically feel pretty damn comfortable using this rocket launcher when I pick up heavy I don't have to worry about hitting the enemy directly I don't have to worry about hitting the ground underneath them or a wall close behind them I just have to shoot around their vicinity and it will blow up on proximity just an absolutely amazing perk to have on your rocket launcher for the crucible I cannot stress it enough and I know I say it in every rocket launcher video but whatever now that that's out of the way I also have battle runner on this thing so after I get a kill I will have increased movement speed for five seconds allowing me to get to my next target a little bit quicker or to retreat and get into some cover just a little bit quicker not necessarily a game-changing perk but it may help out here and there just a little bit anyway I did mention earlier that I do feel comfortable using caloric dragon in the crucible because of grenades and horseshoes but I am probably not as comfortable as you may think think this thing does have a very very slow velocity which greatly impacts its performance of course if you are right next to an enemy it's not going to make a difference but if you are anywhere from medium to long range and the enemy has eyes on you there's really no point in shooting this rocket launcher because they will see it coming they will have plenty of time to react to it it goes very very slow so i suggest you to use your judgment Hold on to the rocket if you think the enemy may avoid it and save it for a closer range encounter when there is less time for the enemy to react. Now despite all of this, this rocket launcher still was very very easy to use at least with my perks on it and even with its slow velocity it was still manageable for me. Not the most comfortable rocket I've used but certainly manageable. Anyway, leave in the comments and let me know guys do you have a caloric dragon and if you do what perks are on yours and what do you think of it? Overall, I did have fun with caloric dragon. I didn't seem to have too much of a problem getting kills every time heavy rolled around. I felt pretty confident in this rocket launcher, although obviously not the best one I have used, but it probably could have been a lot worse if I didn't get grenades and horseshoes on this thing. My review would have been totally different and I'm sure I would have had a much rougher time getting kills in the crucible with it. Anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. And go ahead and leave a sub if you haven't already. If you want to see more weapon reviews similar to this one, I'm always covering weapons here in Destiny. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time.